Welcome back, it's Jay Green, flipper, investor, real estate broker located in Whittier, California. I wanted to give you some updates regarding the California real estate market. Right now, the real estate market remains incredibly hot. It's super hot right now. Um, properties that we're selling are still getting multiple offers and selling up over list price. I flip a lot of properties, I fix and flip them, and my property, I just put one on in West Covina, I sold it within days over asking price. So right now, the demand is still incredibly high, even though interest rates are at an average of 5.575 interest rates have just spiked. The median California real estate price is over 834,000. And that's an incredibly high uh, purchase price for most people. Only 24% of households can qualify for the median house price here in California. I think through the summer, you're gonna see like a really hot selling market. But I've been talking to a lot of businesses. I talked to a lot of industry professionals. Yesterday I was at a baby shower talking to a consultant who works for a large um, international corporation. They consult with businesses and homeowners. And he's definitely seeing it with, the, um, with inflation being so high. It's gonna be impacting businesses and consumers. And I think it's gonna spill over eventually um, maybe later this year or next year where you're just going to see california housing prices even though the inventory is super low i think because inflation and the cost of everything and a lot of consumers and businesses are really being stressed right now retail and um, just you know um, people that are just households people that are employed even though they're raising the minimum wage in california and in other areas it's tough to you know, make a living and feed your family and put gas in your car and buy um, products and um, you know, get services. I mean, things are insane. My daughter came home and she's like, I just got this coffee, it's really good. She goes, but guess how much I spent? And I go, how much? She goes, $8. And I'm like, that is insane. So, I mean, obviously you make those choices on where you're gonna spend you know, your money. But you know everybody's uh, paying more. You know consumers throughout the United States are paying more money right now for everything, and that's going to have an impact. And I so I think, I think even though the um, the supply of real estate in California is incredibly tight, and some of the reasons why the California real estate market are incredibly tight is because of interest rates. That's one of the main driving things. Interest rates being historically the lowest we've ever seen when they hit like in the high twos and so people were wanted to buy right had this you know fomo fear of missing out they didn't want to miss out on owning a home so though so interest rates were really have been definitely driving the demand for california real estate um supply which is coming from um, um baby boomers and people aging in place where they've been in their property a long time and they're deciding some of the seniors decided, you know what, I don't want to sell my house. I'm going to get a reverse mortgage or I'm going to rent out my property or I'm going to build an ADU or I'm just not going to move because I can't afford to go somewhere else and pay higher taxes. I might as well just stay where I'm at. So that's also impacting it. You have millennials right now. Millennials are now becoming of age when they're now they want to buy a house. And there's the supply is just incredibly tight. So the demand for millennials in putting more pressure on the supply of houses, economic policies, rent moratoriums where you where landlords can't evict tenants that aren't making payments. I get it, you know, people need a little bit of help, but that, that also impacts property owners who then can't make their mortgage payments because they're not collecting rents. And then you have foreclosure moratoriums and foreclosure um, policies that also impact the available supply because mortgage companies are, are prevented from foreclosing on property owners. Uh, taxation, they created, you know, they made changes to the, um, uh, you know, the estate taxes. Also just a lot of interesting policies in California, like they tried passing the, the investor tax. If you're flipping a house in California, I don't think that, uh, that bill passed, but they were proposing it and that would put a huge um, you know, capital gains tax on flippers. A lot of investors have been buying 
um, California and national properties like Blackstone and other investment groups, that puts more pressure. It makes the, the buying environment much more competitive. And a lot of this, you know, kind of started happening like during COVID. You have homeowners that were staying at home. Um, you had this, you know, lockdown going on, so people weren't moving. And then they, we learned from people staying in their houses and being able to work from home that that model actually worked for some, for, for some households and some businesses. So people decided to stay in their properties and not sell and not move. And those also created additional supply issues within the, the California and the national um, you know, housing supply. Right now we only have like less than 31,000 available units in California to purchase. We should be well over double that amount. The thing that's contributed to the supply has been housing starts. Housing starts meaning permits have been pulled for new construction and those properties are coming online and those numbers are super low. We're only bringing out about 10,000, between 10 and 11,000 new homes every month in California. And we should be like double or triple that amount. And that ties in with economic policies. It's incredibly difficult to build a house in the state of California. I develop as well, I flip houses and getting plans approved, whether it's just for an ADU or you, can you imagine trying to build an apartment complex or a housing track dealing with all the bureaucracy in within counties in the state of California, it's nearly impossible. Those put uh, incredible constraints and it limits the supply of housing units in California. I've been doing a lot of research and um, I think this year the market in California is gonna remain hot, but as interest rates go up, all this is gonna be impacting buyers affordability when their payments start jumping up incredibly a lot of buyers are going to just not be able to buy the median house price inventory may start to increase slightly as we get into the uh, third and fourth quarter and these are going to be reasons because of foreclosures and households that are struggling and businesses that are going to now going to have to lay off because the federal reserve continues to raise the discount rate to inflation the cost of living is so incredibly expensive in this in California and in you know a lot of the United States and I think it's really going to impact a lot of businesses and households and when those households really start to struggle and they're not able to make mortgage payments you're going to see an increase in supply because of defaults right now um, since last year mortgage defaults are about 69% higher than they were in 2021 um, banks are working repayment plans out with households. I think you will see the government jump in sooner than they did in our last economic downturn, like our great recession of 2007, 8, 9, when we had the whole mortgage implosion and that whole debacle occurred. But I think you will start seeing as households and businesses are uh, more greatly impacted because of inflation and the cost of um, goods and services being so high, and that's gonna translate into people defaulting on mortgage payments. Uh, rents in California, incredibly insane right now. Experian just reported that we have the highest defaults on auto loans right now. So if, I think the next bubble, if there's gonna be any, I think it's gonna be in auto lending and consumer debts. People are borrowing a lot on their credit cards and, and living off debt right now and living beyond their means, unfortunately. I think you're gonna see uh, more um, consumer you know failures and people are forfeiting hey i'd rather i need to feed my family and pay my rent rather than you know making their auto payment and then with gas as high as it is all those factors things being much more expensive and putting more pressures impacting consumer people's dollar they have to make decisions on how they're going to spend their dollar so you're you know you're seeing right now different sectors different areas auto loans defaulting I just think you're gonna see households and businesses, you know, continuing to struggle and um, maybe having to file bankruptcies. And that's gonna translate, unfortunately, to people um, defaulting on their mortgages. So I'm gonna track some of the entities a little closer. Notice the defaults, those are mortgage. That's the starting of your foreclosure process in California. Even though the California real estate market is still super hot right now because of where we're at with the economy and rates continue to go up directly affect the supply of california 
properties throughout this year and next year. Now, as I find out more information about about changes in the, um, the, the market and in economic policies with interest rates, um, with any increase in supply or changes in mortgage products that are, you know, right now they're, they're they mean the mortgage industry are creating some products like 35 and 40 year mortgages. People are considering adjustable rate mortgages arms as a, as a means to have a lower um, payment so you can, um, you know, get into a property. So I'll keep you apprised of any changes. And um, again, thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make product like this and then ring that bell so you can get um, be notified of any upcoming videos. Stay positive. Hope you guys are staying healthy and um, have a wonderful uh, Sunday afternoon.